Welcome to Richard Maybe Presents. Hello, YouTube friends. This is Richard Maybe with Richard Maybe Presents. Uh, it's Thursday, September 29th, 2022. And it's uh, 20 minutes after 4 in the afternoon. Obviously, uh, my sister and I survived Hurricane Ian last night. And uh, after I filmed my last um, filming, um, I've got the garage door open and things are flying around poltergeist with the wind. Um, uh, I guess it was, I guess, um, it was a little after midnight and the wind was just mean and treacherous and howling and eerie and it sounded like a freight train outside my bedroom window i mean it was like that wind was pounding and uh i ha i haven't checked if my little flower survived so i'm kind of nervous about it. it's mayberry day i got the mayberry hat and my mayberry shirt so it's mayberry day now tomorrow i'll put this up for tomorrow friday september 30th but what monumental uh, day in Hollywood history is September 30th? And to give you a hint, uh, you know, please put your answer in the comments. To give you a hint, um, I think it was in uh, was right after Richard Thomas left the Waltons that he did a a movie about September 30th entitled not it was just a very simple title it was it was titled 9 30 55. i'm not sure if it was made for tv movie or if it was shown in the movie theaters but uh it was it was titled 9 30 55 very simple title the signif significance of september 30th so i'm going to uh swish the camera around and check out outside see if my flower is still standing um i'll be broken hearted if i love that little flower so uh, i haven't checked outside yet <sighs> i'll tell you i had, I had about <laughs> i had about 30 separate little scenes from the youtube that's up right now for today uh well actually the well the the last that well anyway the one about Eon, I did a lot of editing. It took me like, oh my, it took me like, like over, way over an hour to do the editing on that. So, okay, without further ado, here we go. See, it's uh, very windy right now. Um, very, very windy. The palm trees are a great indicator of the wind. There's, uh, there's my oak tree. Okay, coming over here, the moment of truth for my little flower. And yes, it did survive. Amazing. A strong, strong little flower, I'll tell you. It did survive. I'm really happy of that. I'm just so happy. I'm elated. I was really worried about my little flower. Okay, I'm gonna take a walk around the property here. Um, this is my this is this plant here. Uh, in time, it'll 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 uh, give off buds for yellow flowers. And there's my uh, oak tree. And again, I still I haven't trimmed that far side yet. I need to do that. Uh, the hedges. I have to hit. I have to trim the hedges again. Coming around here. Some uh, little branches that fell. Uh, a lot of uh, leaves on the ground. I gotta, I gotta trim these hedges up. I really have to get out here and trim these hedges up. Not too bad. There's a street view coming around here. And uh, I like that tree there. I like that live oak there. And again, I've gotta trim. That's my, my live oak right there. I gotta trim those branches there I'd kind of dread it a lot of a lot of 
branch, a lot of leaves here. Had, a, had one branch fall. That's not bad. That looks like a dead branch anyway that fell. A lot of leaves here. Oh, more work. I'll have to rake that up. This never ends. I gotta, gotta trim all this up here. It's just one thing after another here. So there's a lot of leaves in the gutter here. So coming along here. It was very, very windy um, this morning and early this afternoon. So I'm coming around here, coming around to the backyard. I've got to trim these, uh, let's trim these bushes here, these uh, flowering trees here. I've got to just trim these hedges here. I got a lot of work to do here. All the patio furniture is gone. This is where I film a lot of my uh, significant number of my back porch YouTube episodes. It's empty right now. You can see the wind. There's a palm tree there. Palm trees are great indicators of the wind. It's my neighbor's palm tree there. It's getting windy. Not that it's getting windy. Windy, it is windy. I'm coming around here. Everything looks good here. Uh, coming here. Uh, someone told me that this is a cherry tree. Um, I got. I got to check my. I have. I have a lot of manuals on trees and books on trees. I got to check out see what that if I'm gonna show the leaves if you if you know if this is a cherry tree please put it down in the comments you can see the leaves that looks like the leaves of a cherry tree let me know someone someone told me it's a cherry tree but I don't have any any cherries growing on yet my neighbor's flowers I was going to put the hose away, but I just forgot about it coming around here. So I'm going back, coming back, and there's my oak tree. It's pretty windy out. This was my, this was one of my main concerns right here. That this little flower just grew on its own. And so. It's, one, it's kind of one a special place in my heart. I kind of like it. I gotta do some weeding here. I gotta do a lot of weeding here. I got a lot to do here. So, I guess I'll, uh, what I'll do is there. My great, my great live oak there. It's really growing a lot. Okay, back to the garage. So, YouTube friends, um, back in the garage. Uh, one good thing came out of Hurricane Ian is that um, I'm a great fan of uh, the old Harvey comic books and uh, I don't have a lot of Dagwood comic books and I had misplaced this one and, and uh, yesterday in between taping um, you know looking outside the garage and taping the weather uh, I went through one of my blue boxes. I've got to go through my blue boxes. But anyway, I found one of my da Dagwood comic books. And I was just elated. I was just so happy. You know, I don't have many Dagwood comic books. I, and um, these, these, these old Harveys are expensive now. I'm telling you, they're, all, they're really expensive. So I don't know. It's funny. Um, Har um, Harvey comics were particularly guilty of this this is a 12 center but they would put like this is january number 124 but they, the background would be dark blue and then the, the 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 month and number would be in black ink and it would be harder to i always like the little jack-in-the-box jumping out <laughs> of the insignia there it is chick young's dagwood so this is uh 
Oh man, my eyes are going. This is April. Oh man. Um, oh my goodness gracious, my eyes are going. April 1962. I want to double check. Sometimes I have another date in the back here. Let's say April 1962. Um, let me see if there's a back up for that 1962 I'm pretty, yeah it's it's 1962 I'm positive um, but I always got a kick out of this uh, you know these ads and then here they got a frontier cabin for a dollar five for four dollars big enough for two to three kids I, I had this when I was a kid but it was just a cardboard box <laughs> It was a, it was a glorified cardboard box. <laughs> Front, yeah, I thought it was like made out of locks. It was a, it was a cardboard box. Uh, then they always had this two hundred and four Revolutionary War soldiers for a dollar ninety eight, and I ordered them one time too, and they were just like, just like, say like, actually it was a good deal for two hundred four for. So, so it was like a penny, almost like a penny a piece, but uh, maybe, I want to be fair, maybe like, I, I really want to be fair, maybe like 20% of them were just globs of plastic, <laughs> or, you know, it's just, they're just like, they weren't molded, right? Oh, man. Oh, man. It's a, uh, none of this stuff. Uh, Hardly, I, think, I remember this one, the, the wrist radio. Oh, this is done. The, the cover dislocated on this. Well, it's old. But this was so. Was the wrist radio. I ordered that. That was uh, two ninety eight. You said basically rob a kid's allowance. <laughs> this junk never really worked. <laughs> All this stuff never really worked. Let me see what else they got here. I, I just love these old ads. 100 toy soldiers for a dollar and a quarter with the act with the with the lock, foot locker you get the foot locker the cardboard box <laughs> it's just like how they got away this was actually somewhat legitimate i had this um the cadet bike speedometer that was legitimate but yeah yeah i think i think i got bought, bought at the western auto store in, in boonton a couple towns over from Lincoln Park. This was, oh, this was dead. This was home. I remember this was like Opie and the, and the, and the, um, what do you, what do you get the, um, Opie and the, uh, elixir or something where you got the, the, the topical cream and all of his buddies had, had a, each, each buddy had a case of 24 and they couldn't sell them. That's what this was. This was free on condition. And I remember this, and, and I got them. <laughs> I said, I'm not going to send them back. <laughs> you get all these letters from lawyers. <laughs> I, was like, I, I was like seven years old, you know. Dear Mr. Maybe, we'll see you in court. They used to send you all the junks, junk. AMT, I remember AMT. I, 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 I put together my share of AMT cars. The thing about AMT is uh, they were always solid white. And monogram would be molded, colored, you know, like, like maybe like a navy blue Mustang or something like that. But the um, the AMT, they were always molded in white plastic. Yeah, they, they, were, they were good models, though. I mean, I always, I must have put, I put together a sad sack. Uh, one of my all-time favorite. I just, I gotta be careful here. I don't want to destroy this too much. One of my all-time favorite comic book sad sack I love this Dagwood though it was a, you know he's always he's on the couch <laughs> poor guy he'd be on the couch and the, the kid next door would bother him his daughter would bother him his dog would bother him <laughs> poor guy could never take a nap on a Saturday afternoon ah oh, these are great these are great 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 comic books High-powered binoculars, 50 cents. I remember that. 
I, I did. I think I did order. I ordered. Let's just spend all my allowance doing all this mail order junk. Yeah. Oh, and that was the other gag. Uh, Dagwood. Every time he tries to take a bath, someone bothers him. His son bothers him. There's a salesman ringing ringing the doorbell, trying to sell some brushes or something or a vacuum cleaner or something. The poor guy never got a break. Goodyear, I always loved these Goodyear. Always told this, it was kind of neat. It would always tell the story about a paper boy somewhere, you know, like in Squirrel Valley, West Virginia, you know, dedicated paper boy. I don't think they have paper boys anymore. I don't think they have paper boys anymore. And, um, you know, thing of the past. Well, they don't, they don't really do an afternoon paper anymore. They just, they just do, well, do they, do they publish newspapers anymore? I mean, they publish newspapers, but does anybody read them? <laughs> I, I, I mean, people read the newspaper, but you know what I mean. That they, I mean, you know, you go to most sweet shop after school, buy a comic book after school, there'd be like 20 different newspapers all laid out, all afternoon papers. Um, the Herald News, the Patterson Evening News, the, uh, the the Passaic Journal, um, was it um, the, the 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 Clifton Bugle, um, oh the, the the Daily Record, the the uh, oh was that? the um, the Bergen Record, um, of course the Daily News. Oh, I love the Daily News. The New York Post, uh, the, of course the New York Times. And you have on, you know, on the, there would be the rack for the comic books and mad magazines. And then on the, on the bottom was this really well-organized shelf, um, which was about knee high and just like filled with newspapers. It was, it was just so great. Um, put down in the comments if you're from Jersey, if you remember the Patterson Evening News, the Morning Call, the Herald News, the Bergen Record, the Daily Record. Uh, there was something, I think it was the Clifton, the Clifton Journal, I think it was. Uh, of course, the Daily News, the New York Times. That stuff is flying here. I better close up the garage. I better sign off. So, um, so it was a good day yesterday. I found my long lost Dagwood comic. Made my day. Okay, um, so uh, stay safe. Stay safe. Um, stay happy. Stay healthy. This is Richard Maybe signing off. So there's my old Mickey Mouse poncho, all dried out from all the rain yesterday when I wore it. So um, now it's just a matter of folding it up and uh, putting it putting it on uh, one of the shelves here in the garage.